Hey guys, thanks for joining here. My name is Sanjeet and this video is about the marking scheme of class 12th economics 2019. So here we go. Just for the review of this video, this is like a short and simple unedited video taken in a single shot just to guys give you a brief idea about your upcoming exam. So do listen to this video carefully. Thanks a lot to Rishabh. Thanks a lot to Ram Roop sir who allowed me to record this video and share them on the channel. Do support them. Do subscribe their channel. Thanks a lot once again and all the best for your upcoming exam. And just before we start this video or just before we start the review of the exam, I would just like to share the types of questions you are going to get in your exam. So there are like four types of questions you are going to be seeing in your exam. These are, these are starts with a very short answer. This takes one mark each and after this we go to the short answer type one. That takes three marks each and after this we go to the short answer type two that takes four marks each and the last one these are long answer questions that takes six marks of your total like each question. So do prepare yourself that how do you are gonna give the answer to the long answer question that takes six marks of the total the short answer type two that taken like four marks the short answer type one and basically the very short answer. Like don't write like very short answer in the six marks questions or don't write a big paragraph in the very short answer. These like a basic ideas I wanna I just want to share with you guys. So here we go. We just start the video with the review of your final exam. Our total of hundred exam is divided under three parts. The first one is microeconomics. The second one is macro, and the third part is the practical part that is just started last year in 2017 so basically you have to just prepare for this thing that's it so here we go with the start of microeconomics we just start with the introduction that takes four marks of your total and after this there is a consumer equilibrium and demand that takes 13 marks of your total and just similar to this there is a producer behavior and supply that is another 13 marks so make yourself prepare for these two chapters that takes 26 of your total. These are just similar to each other. So if you prepare one and not preparing for the other one is not an idea or not make sense. So that's I, I just believe you guys understand it right. And the another part the last part that comes under microeconomics is the forms of market and price determination under perfect competition with simple applications that takes 10 marks of your total. And that comes to the end of the microeconomics and the another further we go we go to the micro macroeconomics that takes another 40 marks of your total and that starts with national income and related aggregates that takes 10 marks of your total and after this we go further we go to money and banking that takes six marks and then determination of income and employment that takes 12 marks of your total and the last two things remains in the macroeconomics these are government budget and the economy and the balance of payment these take six marks each like all together the government budget takes six marks as well as the balance of payment takes another six marks so that's the end of macroeconomics as well as well that taken like 40 marks over total with macro 40 marks of total with the micro and the rest which means is the 20 marks that is taken in your practicals and if you will just go further and talk about the practical part of your final exam, all I can say about it is just when you get the question, just read it carefully. And this is just basically similar to the business studies project, you can say that as well. So just do prepare it as well and see the check out the question and never hesitate about it. And uh, at the end, I hope you guys like this video. So do subscribe to the channel. I'm saying it once again. Thanks a lot for watching this video again. Thank you very much.